How to make an attractive resume. Making an attractive resume involves several key elements that will help you stand out from other candidates. Here are some tips to make an attractive resume. Tips number one, clear and concise format. Use a clear and easy to read font and format your resume in a way that is easy to skim. Use bullet points to break up text and make it easier to read. A clear and concise format is an essential aspect of creating an effective resume. Employers and recruiters often have to review a large number of resumes. So it's crucial to make your resume easy to skim quickly. Here are some tips for formatting your resume in a clear and concise way. Tips 1.1 Use an easy-to-read font. Choose a professional font such as Arial, Times New Roman, or Calibri that is easy to read and not too fancy. Keep the font size between 10 to 12 points. Tips 1.2 Use bullet points. Bullet points are a great way to break up text and make it easier to read. Use them to highlight your skills, achievements, and responsibilities in each job you've held. Tips 1.3 Keep it concise. Avoid long paragraphs or sentences. Be brief and to the point. Use action verbs to start each bullet point. And keep the focus on your accomplishments rather than your responsibilities. Tips 1.4 Use white space. Leave enough white space between sections and bullet points to make your resume visually appealing and easy to scan quickly. Tips 1.5 Use headings. Use headings and subheadings to separate different sections of your resume, such as education, work experience, and skills. This will make it easier for employers to find the information they're looking for. Tips 1.6 Proofread and Edit Ensure that your resume is free of typos, grammatical errors, and formatting issues. Get someone else to proofread it for you to ensure that it's error-free. By following these tips, you can create a clear and concise resume that effectively highlights your skills and experiences and makes a strong impression on potential employers. Tips number two, tailored to the job. Customize your resume for each job you apply for. Highlight the skills and experience that are most relevant to the job requirements. Tailoring your resume to the job you're applying for is an important step in standing out as a candidate. Customizing your resume shows that you've taken the time to understand the job requirements and how your skills and experiences match them. Here are some tips for tailoring your resume. Tips 2.1 Read the job description carefully. Review the job description and identify the key skills, qualifications, and experience required for the role. Make a list of these and prioritize them in order of importance. Tips 2.2 Highlight relevant experience. Review your work experience and highlight the most relevant experience that matches the job requirements. Focus on your accomplishments that show how you have used your skills in similar situations. Tips 2.3 Customize your objective or summary statement. Tailor your objective or summary statement to the job requirements. Use keywords from the job description to show that you understand the role and are a good fit for it. Tips 2.4 Use keywords. Use keywords from the job description throughout your resume, especially in the skills and experience sections. This will help your resume get noticed by automated applicant tracking systems ATS, that many companies use to screen resumes. Tips 2.5 include relevant skills. Highlight the skills you have that match the job requirements, especially those that are hard to find in other candidates. Be sure to provide specific examples of how you have used these skills in your work experience. By tailoring your resume to the job you're applying for, you increase your chances of getting noticed and getting invited to an interview. Customizing your resume shows that you're a good fit for the job, and you're serious about getting it. Tips number three, professional summary. Include a professional summary at the top of your resume. That highlights your strengths and achievements. This should be a brief statement that summarizes your experience and what you can bring to the company. A professional summary is a brief statement at the top of your resume that summarizes your experience, strengths, and achievements. It's an opportunity to make a strong first impression on potential employers and to show them what you can bring to the table. Here are some tips for crafting an effective professional summary. Tips 3.1 Keep it brief. 
Your professional summary should be no more than two to three sentences long. Use concise language to highlight your key strengths and achievements. Tips 3.2 Focus on your value proposition. Your professional summary should highlight what you can bring to the company. Focus on the skills and experience that make you unique and that are relevant to the job you're applying for. Tips 3.4 Use Keywords Use keywords from the job description in your professional summary. This will help your resume get noticed by Automated Applicant Tracking Systems ATS, that many companies use to screen resumes. Tips 3.5 Highlight your accomplishments. Use specific examples of accomplishments and achievements to demonstrate how you have used your skills in previous roles. This will show potential employers that you can bring value to their organization. Tips 3.6 Customize it for each job. Tailor your professional summary to each job you apply for. Use the job description to identify the key skills and experiences required for the role. And highlight how you meet those requirements. By including a professional summary at the top of your resume, you can quickly grab the attention of potential employers and highlight your strengths and achievements. A well-crafted professional summary can help you stand out from other candidates and increase your chances of getting invited to an interview. Tips number 4 Relevant Experience List your work experience in reverse chronological order, starting with your most recent job. Focus on the experience that is most relevant to the job you're applying for and use specific examples to demonstrate your skills and achievements. Listing your work experience in reverse chronological order is a common practice in resumes. This means starting with your most recent job and working backward. Here are some tips on how to focus on the most relevant experience and highlight your skills and achievements. Tips 4.1 Prioritize relevant experience. When listing your work experience, focus on the experience that is most relevant to the job you're applying for. Tailor your descriptions to highlight the skills and accomplishments that align with the job requirements. Tips 4.2 Use specific examples. Provide specific examples of how you have used your skills in your previous roles. This helps potential employers understand how you have applied your experience to solve problems and contribute to your previous organizations. Tips 4.3 Quantify your achievements. Use numbers and statistics to quantify your achievements. This helps you stand out from other candidates and provides concrete evidence of your impact. Tips 4.4 Be concise. Keep your descriptions brief and to the point. Use bullet points to break up text and make it easier to read. Tips 4.5 Use action verbs. Start each bullet point with an action verb to show what you did and the impact you had. This helps potential employers understand your level of responsibility and contribution in your previous roles. By listing your work experience in reverse chronological order, focusing on the most relevant experience, and using specific examples to demonstrate your skills and achievements, you can effectively showcase your experience to potential employers. This makes it easier for them to understand your background and see how you could be a good fit for their organization. Tips number 5 Education and Certifications Include your education and any relevant certifications or training programs you have completed. Make sure to list your degree or certification and the name of the institution you attended. Education and certifications are important sections of a resume, especially if they are relevant to the job you're applying for. Including these details provides potential employers with insight into your educational background, training, and professional development. Here are some tips for including your education and certifications. Tips 5.1 Start with your highest degree. List your degrees in reverse chronological order, starting with your highest degree first. Include the name of the institution, the degree, and the field of study. Tips 5.2 Include certifications and training. List any relevant certifications or training programs you have completed. Include the name of the program, the institution, and the date of completion. Tips 5.3 Highlight relevant coursework. If you're a recent graduate or have limited work experience, consider highlighting relevant coursework you completed during your studies. Tips 5.4 Don't include your GPA unless it's high. If your GPA is 3.0 or higher, you may want to include it. 
However, if your GPA is lower than 3.0, it's best to leave it off. Tips 5.5 Consider including honors and awards. If you received any academic honors or awards, you may want to include them in the education section. By including your education and certifications, you can demonstrate to potential employers that you have the necessary qualifications and training for the job. This can help you stand out from other candidates and increase your chances of getting invited to an interview. Tips number 6 Action-Oriented Language Use action-oriented language to describe your achievements and responsibilities. Start each bullet point with an action verb, such as managed, led, or created. Using action-oriented language is an effective way to make your accomplishments and responsibilities stand out on your resume. Starting each bullet point with an action verb not only makes your experience more dynamic, but it also shows potential employers that you are results-driven and proactive. Here are some tips for using action-oriented language. Tips 6.1 Use Action Verbs Start each bullet point with an action verb that conveys the impact you had. For example, use, managed, led, created, implemented, improved, increased, achieved, resolved, and delivered. Tips 6.2 Be Specific Use specific examples to illustrate your accomplishments and responsibilities. Quantify your achievements with numbers, percentages, or dollar amounts whenever possible. Tip 6.3 Avoid vague language. Avoid using vague language, such as, assisted with, or, involved in. Instead, use language that clearly communicates your role and contribution. Tip 6.4 Be concise. Keep your bullet points brief and to the point. Use bullet points to break up text and make it easier to read. Tip 6.5 Tailor your language. Tailor your language to the job requirements. Use keywords from the job description to show that you understand the role and have the necessary skills and experience. By using action-oriented language, you can make your accomplishments and responsibilities stand out on your resume. This can help you catch the attention of potential employers and increase your chances of getting invited to an interview. Tips number 7 Keywords Use keywords from the job description in your resume to show that you have the skills and experience the employer is looking for. This can help your resume get past applicant tracking systems and into the hands of human recruiters. Keywords are words or phrases that are relevant to the job description and the skills and experience required for the role. Including keywords in your resume can help you get past applicant tracking systems ATS and increase your chances of being seen by human recruiters. Here are some tips for using keywords in your resume. Tip 7.1 Review the job description. Review the job description carefully and identify the keywords that are relevant to the role. Look for keywords that describe the skills, experience, and qualifications required for the job. Tip 7.2 Use the same language. Use the same language and terminology used in the job description in your resume. This shows that you understand the requirements of the job and have the necessary skills and experience. Tips 7.3 include skills and qualifications. Use keywords to describe your skills and qualifications. Highlight your relevant experience, accomplishments, and achievements using specific examples. Tips 7.4 use action verbs. Start each bullet point with an action verb that shows what you did and the impact you had. This helps potential employers understand your level of responsibility and contribution in your previous roles. Tip 7.5 Be strategic. Don't just include keywords randomly in your resume. Be strategic and use them in a way that makes sense and helps communicate your experience and qualifications. By using keywords in your resume, you can help your resume get past applicant tracking systems and increase your chances of being seen by human recruiters. This can help you stand out from other candidates and increase your chances of getting invited to an interview. Remember to proofread your resume carefully and have someone else review it as well. A well-crafted resume can make a big difference in getting you noticed by potential employers. Thank you for watching. Your support and encouragement mean the world to me. I am so grateful for each and every one of you.
who take the time to tune into my channel and share my content with others. Your feedback, comments, and suggestions help me to grow and improve. And I couldn't do this without you. Thank you again for your unwavering support. I am excited to continue creating content and sharing my journey with all of you. Here's to a bright future together. Maraming Salamat Poe.